good morning you beautiful adventurous bee loving people and welcome back to the 628 dirt rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life looks like i'm going to be doing a removal in the rain got my bacon and sausage to comfort me it's looking a bit nasty today yeah where's the adventure in beekeeping on a sunshiny clear day I'm headed out to look at one job and go do another one the one that i'm definitely scheduled for. I'm hoping it's honeybees. He it says inside the shed door, so that means it's maximum of four inches wide. Ah, that poor dude. I would pick him up, but my truck is slammed full. My first stop for today is gonna be to take a look at a house for a guy. I think it's his mother-in-law's house, maybe. But he couldn't give me a real good description. He, he, she, and he showed me where the bees were on Google Earth. I could see the area, but he, could, he couldn't describe whether they were in the soffit or the fascia. <clears throat> so therefore I couldn't tell him what it was gonna cost him. So not too far out of the way, I'm gonna go take a look at it, see what he's got, and um, see if he wants us to do it. This is it. It's supposed to be on this side, this end somewhere. some squirrel holes squirrels love to gnaw on that wood there they are right in the middle of the wall that could be a bad thing hopefully they don't go up i'd rather cut drywall than pull siding okay <laughs> for the fifth time i keep getting interrupted by phone calls and it cuts the camera off anyway here's where they're coming in and out you can see right here uh, it's exactly where they're coming in and out. That's the only spot they're coming in and out. No doubt they're in the wall, but really don't know how big it is. Even from, even with the flare, you can't tell that. You got all that propolis track on there. There's another opening in the wall right here by the meter can that they're not using, never have used. There's no, no propolis on the brick like you're seeing right here. So they're not in the ceiling not in the siding they're in the wall going to take them out through the inside of the garage cut a little bit of drywall rather than pull inside and, and we'll get that one next weekend off to number two okay i just checked this one out i did a removal a couple weeks ago on the opposite side of this stadium and when i did it i said I could probably drive around for a little bit and find the mother colony that this hive came from. <laughs> well, I didn't have to find it, it found me. The one I'm taking out today is in a shed door. It's been there a little while, according to the property owner. He thinks it's honeybees. I'm hoping it's honeybees. But whatever it is, I got to get them out. So I think I see him there. There we are. I see them flying and it's definitely honeybees. <laughs> it's a good thing. Since the weather's not ideal for this, I'm putting this net on to pull this off. Just on a quick look for the queen right now. We got a layer. Mr. Ed was gonna come help this morning, but I could I could pull this out and eat a sandwich before he could get here. <laughs> the whole thing's I thought it was gonna be attached to that sideboard, but it's just hanging. All of it. Good healthy colony. They had all the beetles corralled in this crack right here. When I stirred it, they're still 
chasing beetles. this cone before I cut it. I'm using my razor knife. Every time I bump across a cell, they get a little stirred up. Keeping an ever watchful eye for the queen. First frame of combs going in the box. Still got mostly honey up here and then at least two full sections of brood there. Brood in honey, I'm sure. Majority of this honey is going to Mr. Mike, an old friend of my dad's, but this one's mine. That is some good stuff. Yeah, we got a pretty good layer in this one. I need to find her. <laughs> you did it again, Costanza. This cut that I made this way to make it fit was was perfect. Made it fit perfect, upside down. <laughs> that cut should have been the other angle. But I started over a new frame with that one, so that's fine. Right now I'm just on the queen search. This is gonna be a nice little queen. I gotta find her. If I don't find a queen on this one, I'm a total, absolute total amateur. They're being surprisingly cooperative for, for it being a rainy day.
I don't know if you saw that or not, but I grabbed the queen among a bunch of other bees in my clip and I was trying to ease it shut because I couldn't tell exactly where she was in the clip. And she jumped out and flew down and I'm being stung telling you about it. Anyway, she jumped out and flew down. I saw her go down, but I couldn't tell where she went. So I've been looking all over the ground for her. And uh, <laughs> I hate to even be walking here because I could step on her, but I pretty closely inspected the ground. I didn't see her. Next best thing is that she went back to the hive. So I'm just gonna keep a lookout for her. If I don't find her by the time I'm done, I'll search the ground and search the ground for a cluster. So that's what you're looking for when the queen gets away like that. Just look around on the ground for a cluster. Look around anywhere for a cluster because if she's on the ground, there's gonna be a dozen or so gathered around her usually. Looks like I'm gonna get to redeem myself. <laughs> I almost went home a total amateur on this one because I did drop her, but I think she flew back or crawled back up one or the other. I got her there. There's the queen. Look at her. Look at that butt. Look at that big old butt. Look at that big old. We're out of the door now. Just waiting on them to settle been sitting here for about an hour running them out they kept trying to go back to that spot it took me a good while to figure it out they had beetles corralled in both these upper corners so I used some be quick to run the bees out as soon as the bees were out of the way I hit the beetles with uh, brake cleaner uh, you can see them marching towards the box might be here another hour or so running them in the box they didn't want to take to that brood, so I had to lay a t-shirt on them and force them down into the box and then get the lid on it. Now they seem to be going in pretty good. I got the queen mounted on a frame down in there, so she's in the box, brood's in the box. Honey's bagged up. It's straight up 12 o'clock. I started at nine o'clock sharp. I got here at nine o'clock sharp. I probably started about 9.20, 9.30, something like that. I'm probably gonna be here another hour or so waiting on them. You can see they're marching to the box, but they are not going quickly. Got to mix it up, son. Life gets boring when you do everything in the sunshine. This guy got the same opinion as me. Why you hating? <laughs> That's a lady driving. This lady's got the same opinion as me. Why you hating? Just wrap that one up. Got some dry clothes on. And it is stop number three for the day. Next stop is, uh, get out of the road, dude. Next stop's a birdhouse on a tree next to a church parking lot. Got bees moving into it. And they want the bees slash birdhouse gone. So tomorrow morning when people show up for church, they don't get popped on the way. <laughs> <laughs> then we get met by the devil in the parking lot. <laughs> Wasn't sure I was gonna make it for this one. <laughs> I'm wrung out. Got to bed about two this morning. Got up again at six. So here I am for this last one of the day. They don't get much easier than this one. Let me zoom in for you here. 
little bird hive wrapped in plastic. I come back right at sunset, cut them straps and just pull the box down. I'm gonna hit the gym real quick while I wait for night to fall so I can go get those other bees. Gotta keep up with my old buddy. I, I'm gonna post his video link on Facebook. If you follow me on Facebook, go over and check him out. He's 77 years old, benching heavy. I gotta try to keep up with that dude. That's impressive to me when older folks are still killing it like that. I wanna see if I can do that when I'm 70, 77. As long as I can keep my joints in shape, I ought to be able to do it. 77 years old, 340 pound bench press. Go check him out. Okay, I'm out. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Go see if I can get that box before it gets too dark. Here we go. Got a little bit of light to work with out here. I'm gonna position my truck where I got headlights to work with a little bit too, although I've, there's plenty of light out here, but you won't be able to see anything on the camera. Probably still won't because my headlights are shining below the... I didn't expect that many to be clustered on the outside. I should have though, with it wrapped up in plastic and being such a small space and it's humid, rained all morning. It's uh, pretty miserable humid right now, so yeah, I just have to be careful. Wish me luck. I didn't really like that last little pop. I think I'm gonna get the smoker going and run them back inside. I'm going to show you another quick little trick you can use when you're moving boxes at night. I don't think I've ever shown you this before. I've used it on some videos on some daytime swarm captures, but if you're moving boxes at night, just throw a t-shirt or a towel or something over the box. Keeps them from flying out if you shake them up too bad. Coming down off a ladder, I'll be trying to hang on to the box and the ladder at the same time, so there's a chance I could drop this thing. Thing's kind of heavy. It wasn't really heavy, it just had duct tape holding it down beside the straps. That's the back where it was against the tree. Dirt, ants, and roaches. I'm just going to take this box and set it up at my house. And I'll do something with it later. I know the question's on some of you's minds, so I'll go ahead and answer it. You know how I feel about doing stuff for free. I usually won't, but this one was a freebie. They don't get any easier than this, quite literally. And uh, it's a church I'm familiar with. So. One forearm sting. I don't know if you can see that. That was from me carrying the box to the back of the truck and I laid my arm on a bee. Um, they are free bees in a sense, but there's still gonna be a lot of time involved in that. I still have to have the equipment to put them in. I also have to spend about 30 minutes probably cutting them out of that. It's a birdhouse, it's not a bee box. So, and it's pretty heavy, so they're probably packed in there pretty good. And uh, who knows what kind of condition they're in when I get in there. They, they were pretty calm and they acted they acted okay, seemed healthy. I don't think there's gonna be an issue with that, but we'll see. I'll do a cutout on that box too and show you what I find. Setting them up over here with my temporaries. That was a cutout from this morning. It's a cutout from midweek. Oop, they're attacking the light, I'm out.